Hi everyone, good morning. This is Alice Chen. I'm the CEO and the founder of Perfect Corp. Today I'd like to share with you uh, the, 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 our vision about how to utilize uh, beauty AI, AR for the whole beauty industries and also uh, share with you how our partners, business partners already leveraging those technology to build up their business, boost up their business in beauty. Yeah, let's uh, briefly introduce what Perfect Corp is. We just founded four and, four and five years ago. And then uh, we uh, grow large, fastly to uh, more than 200 people globally and over 11 countries, 14 cities. I'm very glad that we have worked over uh, uh, 250 uh, beauty brands globally and to work together with them, partner with them to uh, engage with uh, leverage our beauty AI AR for their business in the uh, beauty industry. And our, we have uh, beauty apps, you can make up, you can perfect. Globally, we have uh, grown over uh, 800 million uh, downloads, users, uh, in the uh, four, and, four and a half uh, years. And also, uh, um, you know, we just got a nomination about the best uh, innovation award in CES. And beauty AR is not new and it's already booming in a lot of uh, first runner in beauty industry. I share with you several of the, the, the partners we already uh, work together, uh, like in stores, in physical stores, in the app, in the marketplace, and also in e-commerce side, website. So you can see here, SC Louder using our AR, Beauty AR try on in the makeup mirror, over 8,000 uh, stores globally. And uh, the second one share with you, like Alibaba, the Timo app, Taobao app. They're working with us exclusively to provide Beauty AR try on for all the beauty shoppers on uh, Timo and the Taobao. Um, the, the, second, the third one is uh, an uh, e-teller. Target.com is our customer. Together, we enable all the uh, beauty skills that can be tried on, on all the beauty shoppers' uh, own face before they decide to buy or not. So it is not new for the past four and five years. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, front-runners already adopted, and that proves it works so well. Here, the assumption of a beauty AR that we started Perfect Corp um, years ago, Assumption is uh, because uh, AR f five years ago is not ready, and that was the first time any beauty shoppers can try the color on their own face. That's a, that was a game changer at that time. Uh, you can imagine for any uh, ladies in the store, if you want to try different lipsticks, you, it's almost impossible how many uh, shades you can try before you buy. And my, our assumption is for any uh, beauty shoppers, the more you try, especially on your own face, not on the celebrity face, the more you try, you like it, the more you buy. And for the past four and a half, half years, we try with many uh, 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 our partner, beauty partners. And you can see here uh, in one of the WWD article, our, our great uh, partner, business partner, Essie Lauder, uh, they said uh, after they have a Beauty AR make a mirror in their store, physical store, they saw 2.5 times increase in conversion rates, especially for lipsticks. So that's a, that's a proof that uh, for any beauty shoppers, if, you, if we have a chance to try, try more, definitely buy more. So that's the example, Beauty AR solve the uh, product try on challenge for the uh, past five years. And now, what is the next challenge? That challenge is very tough. Then uh, besides you can uh, try before you buy, how can we offer uh, personalized recommendations to users? Not, you don't need to try 100, 200 SKUs to find one you like. We know you, we know you better to give you a right personalized recommendation. What's the solution? Let, let, that's, the th that's the topic I'd like to share with you. Actually, Beauty AI, 
is the solution to uh, conquer this challenge. Uh, modern days, uh, uh, all the uh, beauty industry, beauty uh, uh, brands, we love to have a customer-centric strategy, Focus, focusing on your customer. But right now, what we can do is a product-centric strategy because uh, one product for all, one lipstick for all the female. Why? Because we don't know them. We don't know their preference. We don't know their demand. So it's so difficult to form so-called customer-centric strategy. And now with AI, in the future, or it's coming, coming right now, we know it's customer century. So every beauty shoppers, they have their own preference, demands, concerns. Everyone should have their own personalized product recommendation. So that's AI is the game changer. That's the only thing upon, on top of AR. Using AI, we know the customer better themselves. We know their demands. And then all the brands can form a real customer century strategy, providing each customer the best products fits them. And then eventually, that's also the uh, assumption. Only if I buy products uh, you recommend to me, and that is exactly what I need, and then I can uh, be a sustainable customer. So uh, we are doing uh, beauty AR, beauty AI. The currently, uh, in, we already release uh, the, all these uh, services to help the beauty brands and the beauty retailer that can form their own customer centric strategy. And of course, make a AR try on, and also using AI to uh, find what's the uh, skin tone of each beauty shoppers. And then uh, brand, because uh, even I don't know my skin tone, so difficult for any beauty shoppers to find the right foundation, right shade of foundation to fit your own skin tone. And of, co of course, because our skin tone, is, uh, some skin tone does not match with some of the eyeshadows, the lipsticks. So AI, we using AI detect your skin tone, and then we can do a right recommendation for each beauty shopper. And skin care is even more. Skin conditions, skin concerns, everybody has different your face, everybody's face, male, female, everybody's face has different, uh, different conditions. So using AI, the camera, then I can tell you don't need to touch. You don't need device to touch your skin. AI can tell your skin conditions is dry, texture, wrinkle, all this. Uh, we don't have time to demo to you today. There's a short video later and we have a booth. Later you can see the real demo in our booth. So using AI, then uh, tell the uh, detect your skin condition, the brand, the retailer can send you the right, recommend the right product to help your skin. And also here, not only your skin, here, uh, using AI, we can, you know, try to uh, try on the different uh, color dye on your hair before you make any decision, no risk. Um, also, uh, what about your hair condition? Not only your skin condition, using camera to tell your hairstyle, hair condition, and then brain can uh, precisely tell you how you can protect, take care of your hair. And also, uh, in store, we have a lot of a very professional beauty advisor that can tell you what, how to make a good style for you. And if you don't have a beauty advisor, then we can use AI to become your beauty advisor. And because I know you better than yourself, and then an uh, uh, AI beauty advisor can recommend the right style for you and then right products for you. So there's a, there, there is a, something uh, behind AI, AR is a tough technology. Uh, I don't want to mention here how we did in our labs, uh, more than 100 PhD do all this. But for you, sir, for beauty shoppers, it's not related. I just want something that can fit me. And also, uh, I like something to playable. It's kind of, uh, I play more, and I stay more, and I engage more, and I buy more. So that's how AIAR eventually apply to the business, how it can create a omni-channel, create a real customer-centric experience for all the brands and the retailer. 
So this is a short video share with you how AI can help the beauty brands, especially the beauty shoppers. So this is a short video telling you uh, exactly what we are doing using AI to conquer the personal, uh, personalization uh, challenge for beauty industry. And leverage, this is one slice, a lot of technology behind, and uh, I just uh, highlight uh, four important technologies of AI in uh, beauty f uh, to share with you. So like uh, AI 3D face, so we can, uh, using AI, the camera to detect your face attributes. Over 70 uh, different uh, face attributes it can automatically detect. And we have a AI shape finder, detect your skin tone and then uh, smartly mapping with the uh, brand's uh, know-how to get the best uh, foundation or other product shapes for the end user. And skin diagnostic, you can see right now, we have done uh, seven concerns, but actually the roadmap for skin, it can be very deep. So we have like uh, 50, 60 different concerns that we like to develop using AI one by one. Um, the third one, the fourth one is hair. So we uh, conquer hair color dye last year and uh, a mid of last year, we even conquered using a camera and AI to detect what's the, the, the hair condition, hairstyle of each, each customer, and uh, then we know how you can take care of your hair. And the last slide to share with you is, uh, you know, um, beauty lovers, beauty shoppers are everywhere. It's not only in stores, it's not only uh, on the web, it's, they are everywhere. So in physical store, in a web e-commerce site, in social, <clears throat> in the app, every time they go to uh, different uh, touch points, they like to try, virtually try, and they also like to get a consistent uh, recommendation for their, own, for their own needs, for the right products. So Beauty AI AR right now, it can seamlessly integrate it with all the channels, provide consistent um, recommendation for all the users. I think this is very important for beauty shoppers to get the same experience. Can you imagine when I go to store, I get a recommendation of this uh, shade, but when I go to website, it's another one or different, uh, different uh, a skincare product. That's uh, not consistent and that will not increase the customer satisfaction. So only with the only channel 360 degree, I would say, no matter where the beauty shopper is, we work with you, we know you, 
we give you the best uh, personalized recommendations for any products. So we are bringing beauty tech, AI, AR to beauty business. And it is not in the future. The future is now. Thank you.